Can a human live to the age of 200 years old? This video will cover the biological obstacles a human faces in living 200 years. First, can human cells live 200 years? Cells of the brain and central nervous system can die from neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. However, in the absence of disease, it appears brain cells can live over a century and do not prevent humans from living to 200 years old. What about other cells? Can cells of the skin, liver, or intestines live 200 years? These cells regenerate often. This means that cells in these organs die, but then are replaced by new cells that perform the same function. In the digestive tract, cells can die and be regenerated in as little as five days. Can these regeneration continue for two centuries? The answer lies in the health of the DNA. DNA can become damaged and mutate, but DNA also has repair mechanisms that can fix the damage. These protective mechanisms would have to continue to function properly for 200 years. Additionally, telomeres, which are found on the ends of DNA strands, protect DNA as cells regenerate. However, with each replication, the telomeres shorten. Eventually, if the telomeres entirely wear down, the DNA cannot successfully replicate. In order for cells to live for 200 years, DNA would have to be protected from mutations and also properly preserved during replication. What about the heart and arteries? Maximum heart rate, meaning the highest rate possible at which the heart can beat per minute, can be calculated by the formula 220 minus age. 220 minus 200 would mean a 200-year-old would have a maximum heart rate of 20 beats per minute. A maximum heart rate of 20 beats per minute would mean a dangerously low resting heart rate of around 5 beats per minute. High blood pressure in the arteries is one of the greatest risk factors for heart attack and stroke. Blood pressure has been shown to increase with age. Why the increase? The aorta, which is the largest artery in the body, is elastic, as are several other arteries. These arteries contain elastin, which is a protein that allows these arteries to expand and recoil. After the heart contracts, a large volume of blood enters the aorta and causes the aorta to stretch. After being stretched, the aorta recoils and pushes on the blood, which helps push the blood along to circulate throughout the body. As humans age, there is less and less elastin in elastic arteries, and, and the arteries begin to harden. The same volume of blood pumped into a hardened aorta cannot cause the aorta to expand as much as it could previously. Instead, the blood is crammed into the aorta, drastically raising blood pressure. To keep a human being alive for 200 years, elastic arteries would have to remain elastic enough to keep blood pressure low enough to avoid heart attack or stroke for 200 years. Cancer, which is another common cause of death, becomes increasingly common with age. Cancer cells occur in the human body all throughout the lifespan. The immune system normally responds by killing the cancer cells. The question arises, if the immune system can kill cancer cells, how could individuals grow large tumors and eventually die of cancer? One answer is immunosenescence. As the immune system ages, it can become less responsive, which is known as senescence. This is partially due to atrophy of the thymus gland. T cells are able to kill cancer cells, and the thymus is where all T cells mature before entering the circulation to fight disease. After puberty, over 50% of the thymus has become non-functional, and by the age of 20, over 80% of the thymus no longer functions. It is thought that eventually, the entire thymus atrophies and new T cells stop emerging. Without healthy new T cells to kill cancer cells, cancer becomes more likely to develop. Lastly, can bones and muscle survive for 200 years? Sarcopenia is a condition of muscle atrophy that occurs with age. After age 50, sarcopenia becomes more pronounced and muscle tissues began to waste away. Similarly, bones can lose mineral density and become weaker. Skeletal muscles also has roles in chemical signaling and glucose consumption. A decrease in muscle tissue means a decrease in movement, chemical signaling, and blood glucose regulation. By 200 years old, it could be that so much muscle and bone have wasted away that life would not be possible. Can any of these obstacles to a two-century lifespan be overcome? There is emerging scientific evidence that sarcopenia, bone loss, 
DNA damage, and telomere shortening can all be at least partially treated with various exercise routines, nutritional supplements, and other lifestyle interventions. Furthermore, many individuals over the age of 100 have shown much higher maximum heart rates than the formula 220 minus age would have predicted. Additionally, aerobic exercise has been linked to maintaining elastine in arteries and lower blood pressure values. Can the immune system protect a human from cancer for two centuries? While research in boosting the elderly immune system is newly emerging, some evidence has shown a possible increase in immune function. What is not a cause of death is time. Cells do not die from a certain number of years passing. Therefore, if no lethal event has occurred, the human body can continue living for 200 years or longer. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for the latest video on the science of human physiology.